my favorite artist. The two artists I'm going to talk about today are Alan Lee and John Howe, who are known as the designers of Middle Earth. The first artist I'll talk about is Alan Lee, who was born August 20th, 1947 in Middlesex, England. Lee went and studied at the England School of Art and is known for his illustration for British novels and conceptual art. He's illustrated novels like Fairies by Robert Holdstock, Castles and Tolkien's Ring by David Day, and The Moon's Revenge by Joan. In Lee's artwork, the two most common mediums he, he utilizes is the watercoloring and pencil work. In his conceptual work, he's most famously known as the chief conceptual designer of both the Lord of the Rings trilogy and the Hobbit trilogy. Lee has also done conceptual works for films like King Kong, the miniseries Merlin, and the film Eric the King, along with others. An interesting fact about Lee is he has had two cameo appearances in the Lord of the Rings trilogies. One, he played a king who later became a Nazgul in the film Fellowship of the Ring, and the other being a Rohirrim soldier from the film Two Towers. The next artist I'll talk about is John Howe, born August 21st, 1957 in Vancouver, Canada. Howe studied at the École des Arts Décoratifs in France and is now residing in Neuchâtel, Switzerland. He's done numerous works for Tolkien's books and films, including illustrating the Lord of the Rings board game, re-illustrating the maps of Middle-earth, and also being a chief conceptual designer along with Alan Lee. Outside of the Lord of the Rings universe, Howell is also well known for his contribution to the artwork of George R.R. R. Martin's novel A Clash of Kings and his work in the film adaptation of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and also his work in illustrating card games for the famous collectible card game Magic the Gathering, shown here. This film is really breaking new grounds in many ways as far as the technology and the filming goes. But John and I are still working in our time-honored methods of pencil and charcoal, composing pictures in 2D. And we thought we'd try and come up with some way of actually incorporating a 3D aspect into the way that we were producing the concept art. That might communicate more clearly to Peter and to the other technicians. So what we're doing is two drawings. One is in red. One is in blue, and the 3D glasses have a red lens and a blue lens, one for each eye. Uh, don't, don't go too heavy on This is probably the first serious cinema production where the actual concept art has been done in 3D. Rather than sharing just the same office, we're actually sharing basically the same vision. Vision, yes. There's been a bit of a tendency for me to take on the blue, and obviously, you know, sitting on the right-hand side of the picture, it's easier to actually get your head around the left side doesn't make sense when you try and explain it like that. It's a huge help for Peter because we're actually proposing the full depths. I mean, it means Peter has to wear glasses when he looks at our art, but... Yeah. My God, coming at you, look at that. Whoa! If you happen to have a pair of glasses like these at home, you should be able to see the artwork in 3D. You look great. Very three-dimensional. You've definitely improved. I, I know. When thinking about my own personal artwork, Lee and Howes inspired me in the aspect of creating my own fictional worlds and bringing to life new characters in a different way. Their artwork has been truly inspiring and in showing a variety of different worlds and how you can go and create characters in a way that is realistic and believable. It makes you more drawn to the universes and how they can be adapted.
Now here's your assignment. I want you to create a fictional city. In order to do this, I want you to use two-point perspective to accurately depict the depth and space of the city. You will be graded on composition and use of space, use of two-point perspective, craftsmanship and use of media, originality, expression, and communication of the idea, and your self-reflection. Make sure that you have common theme going throughout your entire project and have details that you would find in a city, such as street signs, buildings with multiple floors, and citizens. Good luck on your assignment.